distinguished ladies and gentlemen, all protocols observed. This is indeed a fantastic day in the life of the Majors Group. Who thought that the company started under my father's garage 27 years ago with $100 will now be the prime contractor for the Ghana National ID system? I think that this is unprecedented. This project demonstrates what can be achieved in the private sector if we put our minds to it and if we're given, given the necessary positive support by the government. Mr. President, I thank you very much for making the decision that the relationship between IMS and NIA formed the most viable way of delivering the national identity system. This platform, unlike any other, will transform Ghana into the modern world. And to borrow the words of the Vice President, it will formalize the economy. It will also bring about social inclusion, and it will give Ghanaians a digital identity, a key to the fourth revolution. We are margins, with our partners, are very proud that this card and this system was conceptualized, designed, built, and manufactured in Ghana. This project that we've launched today, Mr. President, will deepen and strengthen the foundation of democracy and economic and social inclusion and improve our national security by providing a secure, credible, accountable register for the identification and registration of all citizens and residents in the country. This project, started by the President Ajakun Kufuo, will be the cornerstone and tool for transforming our society and digitizing our economy. It will spare economic growth and development through effective use of data for economic planning and will speed up the velocity of our economic transactions, which can be verifiable in this modern world of the internet and digital devices. This is a day of victory in Ghana and, dig and signifies the dawn of a new Ghana, a digitized Ghana, a new re revolution of Ghanaian vision, entrepreneurship, and enterprise in all sectors of our economy. This system, Mr. President, will bring us closer and maybe beyond the first world. It will immediately deliver on e-government and e-commerce and the frustrations of bribery and time wasted that citizens face in accessing government services will be a thing of the past. This platform will enhance the private sector and the public sector because the two work together. It will create an e-commerce e platform that will speed up the development of this country. I'd like to thank all the hundreds of excellent people in the Margins Group who have worked tirelessly over more than a decade to make this happen. I thank our partners and subcontractors, Demolog of Germany, CryptoVision of Germany, NXP of Germany, Empreneur National, and SPS from France, DigaCard of the USA, Exinfotech from Latvia, IMS, ICPS. It's been a very exciting three and a half years building what is arguably one of the most advanced identity platforms in the whole wide world. Let me also thank Danida, who have been here from the beginning since the 1990, 1999, supporting this idea. I think this is for you as well, the Kingdom of Denmark. The banks, Cowbank, Bank of Africa, Access Bank, the Industrial Fund for this, uh, Developing Countries. We thank you. We thank the President, last of all, the MPP government for his vision and leadership on this project and for delivering on this commitment and promise for the deploy deployment of the National ID system today, the 15th of September. Mr. President and Mr. Vice President, because of your decision, 
you will give 50 million Ghanaians a passport over the next 12 months and a digital identity that will revolutionize our country to the better benefit of the citizenry. It will create new jobs and to usher us into the digital revolution. I thank you, Mr. President, and God bless you. Thank you, Mr. Moses Bading, CEO of the Margins Group. To show the national nature of this program, I want to acknowledge quickly the USA agencies who are on board and who are also here. I'll just mention the institution. If there's a rep, we'll acknowledge with a round of applause. We have the National Communication Authority, the Ghana Revenue Authority, the Ghana Police Service, please clap for them, the Bank of Ghana, the Ministry of Communications, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the National Health Insurance Authority, the Birth and Death Registry, the Driver Vehicle and Licensing Authority, the Ghana Immigration Service, the Electoral Commission, NITA, and SNIT. Please put your hands together for all these agencies who have their reps here. We can't mention all the individual names. We now want to receive His Excellency the President, Nana Dodankwe Kufuado, to bring to us the keynote address. Please, let's rise and receive him. Vice President, oh, please. Vice President, Minister for Communications, the Chairperson and members of the Governing Board of the National Identification Authority, the Acting Executive Secretary, Management and Staff of NIA, Group Chief Executive of the Margins Group of Companies, members of the Diplomatic Corps, fellow Ghanaians, ladies and gentlemen, today, as I, I receive as President of the Republic, the first is what is aptly dug, dubbed the New Ghana Card, signaling the dawn of a new day in biometric identity management in Ghana. <laughs> and the virtues of a public-private partnership arrangement in meeting our needs for development. Today's ceremony also constitutes a practical demonstration of the fulfillment of yet another promise of my party, the New Patriotic Party, made during the 2016 campaign that we would modernize and formalize the Ghanaian economy through the establishment of a credible national database and using the National Identification System, NIS, as the primary identifier, as prescribed by law. After several years of demonstrated inability to do so, the National Identification Authority, NIA, under the tenure of an MPP administration, is about to commence the registration and instant issuance of national identity cards to all Ghanaian citizens, both at home and abroad, as by law prescribed. My presence at today's event, together with the Vice President of the Republic, highlights the seriousness to which my government attaches the National Identification System Project. With my fullest endorsement, Vice President al Dr. Muhammadu Baumia, has ably spearheaded the technical and legal processes that has enabled the government to decide how to proceed with the goal of achieving a national EID system for Ghana, which is beyond needless controversy and polemics. The MPP government under my leadership has not only prioritized the NIS as both special and strategic, but also demonstrated commitment to making the NIA work again. That is why I've given to the NIA excellent executive and governing board leadership. And that is why I pledge to provide the NIA 
the requisite support to perform its functions effectively. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the historic inability of the NIA to complete the National Identification System, NIS, has resulted in the proliferation of biometric systems by other government agencies that are mandated by law to access information from the National Identity Register. Assigning the collection and custody of biometric traits to a single institution is safer and in line with current trends. By statute, the NIA is under obligation to ensure the accuracy, integrity, confidentiality, and security of data it collects. I am delighted to note that the new Ghana card is a great improvement over the previous one and meets all international standards required of such identity documents. For example, the National Identity Card has been enhanced to take advantage of new technologies such as tactile elements for the blind, chip embedding technology and iris capabilities in addition to taking all 10, fi ten fingerprints of an African. With a 128 kilobyte capacity, the Ghana card will enable other stakeholders to run their applications on the national identity card. Ultimately, the card will replace the sectorial identity cards in circulation and shall be the only card to be used in transactions where identification is required as provided by law. This registration exercise is also unique in the sense that it would involve the registration of ages zero to five. This is a historic opportunity for us to sanitize and rationalize birth certification in Ghana and ensure social inclusion right from birth. I wish to congratulate Identity Management Systems Limited, IMS, who are partnering with NIA to ensure the efficient rollout of the NIS project. It is noteworthy that one of the positive results of the NIA-IMS partnership is the funding of a public key infrastructure, PKI, which, being the, which would be in the custody of the National Information Technology Agency, NITA, to support the development of e-commerce in Ghana. As I've stated on many occasions, my government is fully committed to supporting and enhancing the capacity of Ghanaian companies and businesses to be the giants in their respective areas of operation. Let me remind the stakeholders in this exercise of the need to ensure the integrity, security, and confidentiality of identity data collected. It is important that the data collected is made av available only to persons or institutions authorized by law to access the data and used only for the purposes for which the data was collected. With a formidable governing board compromising a great mix of women and women and men of high integrity and professional repute, working together with a competent and committed chief executive officer and his staff. I have no doubt that the future of NIA is great and the future of Ghana's identity management system brighter. And I thank all the friends of Ghana 
who have assisted us to get this far. Thank you all very much for your time and audience. And may God bless us all in our homeland, Ghana, and make her great and strong. We thank the president for his speech. As they say, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. We have decided to have a live test. And His Excellency the President will go and register for his card. He will go for the card and we'll see whether the card is what it promises to be. Please pray for the NIA. And the